conceptual Jay sounded better than Jay. Things. Things. People talk Real about talk, it. I ain't throwing shots. All of the elements. Hello, everyone. Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Uh, this is going to be uh, somewhat brief. I just wanted to stop in and thank all of you who sent out love, light, prayers, and so much more uh, during this difficult period. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'll give you a brief breakdown of what happened over the last week and a day. Uh, starting last Tuesday, I began to have chest pains. Being that it was a day after I had did a pretty extensive chest workout um, where I was overextending, uh, I kind of figured maybe I had uh, some extreme micro tears in my pectoral muscles. And so I dismissed it. It continued to the next day, which would have been a week from today, Wednesday. And it was slightly a little bit more, but dismissed it. Uh, my wife was like, are you sure that's an injury? It seems like a little more and it's, it's a little different than you ever behave when you're sore. And I'm dismissing it and move on and ultimately Saturday night, the pain intensified to the point that I had to be rushed to the hospital to find out that I had had a series of minor heart attacks throughout the weekend that I had just uh, experienced a major heart attack. Uh, fortunately, it wasn't uh, the Widowmaker. I didn't go into complete cardiac arrest, uh, but that was definitely some problems. While in the hospital, I was there from Saturday night, basically around midnight. So. Uh, from there until Monday, and they were going through a series of things. One of the problems was extreme hypertension. And whatever they ran, man, everything from x-rays, CAT scans, echo, uh, cardiograms, everything that should have found the problem, uh, but initially could not. Uh, I was pressuring them to leave. There were some things I needed to do. I'm, I, I've got to go. Uh, we've got the major thing down. We're getting the blood pressure down. That should stop it. And um, against their advice, I was about to literally sign a waiver to leave and had another major heart attack on Monday evening. Uh, they triggered the rapid response team and ultimately got me down into surgery where they had to do uh, a surgical process to uh, remove a blockage in my main artery that they found during uh, this what they call it, heart, heart cat, or some type of thing they do, where they're able to put up this machine and run iodine through you and they find the blockage. And it was a 90% blockage of my main artery. Uh, and so they had to install a stent uh, that I'll have for the rest of my life. Uh, and obviously I've got to take on some life changes. Uh, I will be scaling back, I, uh, the matter of fact, Pretty much the only work I'm going to do today is sort of looking at what I'm going to scale back. And I'm only going to do that for a few hours. Um, I've got enough content stored up on my CRM to kind of start flooding, uh, you know, my channels with new content until I can get back to it full time. Uh, there will be some things that I won't be able to do just simply understanding that I've definitely pushed myself too much. And don't get me wrong, all of, all of this isn't because I overwork myself, which I definitely do. And I take on a high level of stress. And to everyone out there, let me share this with you. Because you have developed a capacity to manage stress doesn't mean that stress does not exist and that it will not have an impact on you mentally, emotionally, and physically and i think that we really have to start understanding that yes it's good to be able to manage stress it's better than not being able to but sometimes you got to let stressful situations go and that's something that i learned when you're sitting there literally and knowing you're having a heart attack um, and knowing that there's no guarantee at this point that you have any control on whether you survive except for your will to live that it's all in the hands of, of something greater, you think. And my thoughts didn't go on to what would happen to me. I've never been afraid to die uh, because I believe uh, I will live on. 
uh, in what form or what way, I, I, I don't know. But I know that, you know, energy doesn't, energy is never destroyed. So I'm sitting there and I'm looking at my wife and I'm going, I can't leave her. I'm not finished doing what I need to do for her and my kids. I'm still doing some things and I have some unfinished business that I want to attend to. And um, when I got that second chance, you know, it really, really resonated with me that I have to take care of me to be able to do anything else. Someone that I spoke with during this period uh, told, and this is before the second, I mean, well, the second major heart attack, because there was a series of smaller, uh, what they call mini heart attacks that happened up until Saturday. And before the second one, I talked to someone who uh, I'm working with in Chicago to get black man uh, lead up there. I got a couple of people I'm working with. And, and she told me something that made a whole lot of sense. You're at a point now to where you're maxed out. You're going to have to learn how to replicate yourself. And what she meant by that is I need to train people and teach people what I do. Uh, people with the same passion, people with the same yearning. I need to open up myself and train more people and let them do a lot of what I'm trying to do on my own. And that's going to be something that will be a part of the process. There are going to be a lot of things that are on the deck that simply produce nothing but stress. While they have good intentions, uh, they take up time and they produce stress. And I'm going to have to set them down. Maybe I can find some other people who have the energy and the time. But I can only do so much. Uh, and my goal is to be here. Uh, for my family for years to come um, you know for all of you who sent so much love uh, from all of the different places you know I had people stop by my hotel I mean my, my hospital room um, you know to uh, Bishop Victor Anderson his lovely wife Erica uh, Anderson uh, who just happened to be in town visiting uh, to come by and share and sit down and literally talk and pray with me was uh, intensely uh, important to my sisters that stopped by, everyone else who checked on me. Uh, I want to thank you guys, those who called and sent all kind of text messages. I mean, I got so much love that really showed me that people were aware of the impact that I was trying to make on the world and that I had in many ways touched the lives of other people. And so I'm excited about that. And I want my clients to know uh, I'm not cutting you guys, not one of you. That's the blessing that I have is working with people. And I'll find a way to continue to do that. Uh, but a lot of these other projects that I've taken on, uh, again, I'm passionate about them and they mean a lot to me. And I'm not tossing them away. I'm setting them to the side until I have the resources and the help that I need to make them happen. Uh, so once again, I want to thank everybody for the love and support. I want to thank everybody for sending up prayers. I want to thank everybody for the well wishes. Uh, the most important thing to me during this entire process was my wife. Uh, the last thing I want to do is come into her life and offer her hope and then leave her hanging. You know, I don't control when I leave and I often say, I mean often say, that I live my life on full so that when I die, I die on E. Um, I still want to live my life that way because I don't want to leave anything on this earth undone that I could have done. Uh, I don't want any wasted time, but at the same time, I've got to do it smarter uh, because I want to make sure that whenever I do leave this place, she doesn't want for anything. And there's so much that has been done, but there's so much left to be done. And I just wanted to stop in and talk with you guys who have loved on me in many ways for years. Uh, some of you, we've had our back and forth on different topics and we've done it respectfully because we know how to love on one another and disagree. Or as Dr. King put it, be disagreeable without being violently or disrespectfully disagreeable. And uh, I, I've enjoyed it all, and I still plan on being here. Uh, you'll see a little less of me over the next few days uh, as I still reacclimate myself and regain my strength. Uh, you know, I've been through a lot. I'm surprised that I'm, I'm able to come home. And the doctor, a couple of things that the doctors told me. 
Number one is if I didn't have a background years ago, though, but if I did have a background as an athlete, I probably wouldn't be standing uh, that first after the series of small heart attacks. That first major one would have took me out before I got to the hospital. The second thing is if I wouldn't have been in the hospital when I had the second major one, I probably wouldn't be here. Um, and so uh, I see things in a new light. Um, the thing is, there's so much to be done, and I, I want to be a part of getting as much done for my people as I can, getting as much done with helping people uh, be, be better, a better version of themselves through the Visionetics Institute, helping my people in, my, uh, in, in our communities through the Odyssey Project. And mm -hmm. I'll definitely be doing a lot more work through my company, Master Fitness 21, uh, the sites out there. I'll be doing a lot more work. Uh, through that company, <laughs> all things considered, uh, dealing with health, uh, holistic health, which is something I do uh, anyway. And so uh, I'm being forced uh, to take my my health seriously. And, and I've been reminded that I am not invincible. Um, and it's, it's a sombering uh, awakening you know, you go through life and you just feel like you can just keep pushing through and nothing can nothing can happen. And then all of a sudden, here you are. Uh, but again, I want to thank every last one of you uh, for everything that you've done in the way of supporting and lifting me. Uh, we're still fighting. We're not going anywhere. I just need a little time to try to figure out how I'm going to manage this. And I'm going to take some time and prioritize it. And I'll be sharing with you guys. I mean, the videos don't require... Uh, a whole lot of energy. They won't be as long. Uh, they probably won't be as intense because I need to kind of keep my heart rate down for a while. But uh, I just wanted to, again, I didn't want to sit around and wait on it and sit on it. I wanted to personally and as close to in, in, uh, directly say thank you as I could. Uh, keep in mind that there's still work to be done. Uh, we have a responsibility to the generations after us to leave them a little bit better in a little bit better situation than we were left or uh, we we inherited and that's what I what I plan to do and I plan to be a part in and I hope I've done a significant job to this point in helping to create and I'm going to challenge every last one of you to be a part of the work that is being done across this country and, and over the globe and on that note I'm going to leave this place um or this video and i'm going to uh check out take some time to relax again and then i'll sit down and maybe spend an hour or two organizing my thoughts and seeing where we're going to go from here with all the things i do you got to think uh there's the odyssey project that's odyssey media group and publishing there is the visionetics institute there's myriad business solutions that's master fitness 21 and those are the major things that I do business-wise that I'm responsible for. Then there are all of the other things that I do within each one of those uh, entities. And so there's a lot happening. And there's more than that. But those are the ones that are doing the most uh, and require the most of my time. So there's a lot going on. Well, anyway, I'm going to take my time and I'm going to move back in it. And I'm going to uh, wish you the best. Thank you once again. And I'm going to get off of here. You guys have an unbelievable week. And I will see you soon.
it's from a conceptual perspective. People talk about it. Real talk, I ain't throwing shots. Careful who you 